What's up guys, it's Geeks Corner here and today I'm going to show you how to add friends onto your Plex library and also how to access their library as well. Now the first part your friend is actually going to have to do to be able to add you to their library and then the second part is how you actually access their library and then vice versa if you want to add somebody to your library you're going to have to follow the first steps and then they're going to have to follow the second steps as well. But first off we're going to sign in. Now I'm doing this via Chrome. You can do it via Safari. It's just a lot easier to do it on the desktop computer. So once you sign in you're going to open Plex over here and then you're going to wait for it to load up and then obviously you're going to have your user so I'm going to sign in onto my account. I've set a password, I do advise that. Then we're going to go to the settings on the right hand side and then we're going to scroll down to manage library access. So we're going to click on there and then this is going to give you a list of all the friends if you have any already. Otherwise we're going to click on view all friends. And then as you can see, you've got a few options on the top here. So we're going to click on add friend. And then once you click on there, you just pop their email address in. So obviously you are going to need to know their email address. So we're just going to type in your friend's email and then at gmail.com. Obviously it can be whatever their email address is. And then you're going to go over and click add friend. So I'm obviously not going to do that because I've already got the friends there. So I'm going to click on cancel. And then I'm just going to go over then to grant library access. We're going to click on here and then you're going to choose the friend you want to grant. So you're going to click continue and then you're going to choose which library you want them to be able to access. And obviously if they are doing it for you to access their library, this is how they're going to have to do it as well. And I've got a couple of options on my Plex library. Everybody's is set up different. So whatever the way they've got it set up, they can just click on there of what they want you to be able to access. And then you're going to click continue. And then we're going to click on send again. Then you can obviously choose whether or not you want to allow them to download. So if on the mobile device, I don't mind people downloading the devices so they can watch it offline. It's just easier. And then you're going to click the copy link and you can email it over to them. And then if you want to actually access their library once they've added you following these steps, then you are going to have to follow these steps to be able to actually access their library once they've sent it to you. We're going to scroll down and then we are going to choose their library. So as you can see here, this is my friend's library. And it's just telling me that we've got a limited connection, which is fine. And then this is the uh, movies and TV shows. You can choose then the individual way. It, like I say, it will vary depending on how they've set it up. So this is their movie section here. And over here as well, you've also got their TV shows. So we're going to click on there and we're going to change that to library. So they've got three on here. So this is actually how you access it. And then just to show how my friends see it on theirs, I've set it up slightly differently. So you've got your cam movies, your TV shows and everything else. Again, I always recommend clicking library rather than recommend. And that way you can see everything that is on there. So that's it, guys. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.